The strike called by the Ghana Teachers Union was originally scheduled for two weeks. It's continuing. Today, pupils and teachers from Tugville Primary were joined by the parents. The children said that they are supposed to be in school. One parent said that she's in the protest line for her children and for those parents who are still to come out. We, our children, need to go into classroom and learn. It's been the third week now. Our children are out of school and the government cares nothing about the teachers. The, this thing that the teachers are protesting about, it is something that the government started. The government, the first day. President, who was then a member of parliament, stated that the least a teacher should get is 50%. I saw the video. It is not something anyone told me. The strike that we are doing, I know they're saying it's illegal that the teachers are doing, but our education minister we have now supported back then. The parent was referring to the strike called by the GTU in 2018. She said that she's aware that teachers do a lot for children. There, are, there was a time when I couldn't afford to give my kids stuff at school and the teachers came together and provided for them. I think it was two days so that they could be in school because they are smart. The teachers said they don't want them to be upset. Teachers deserve best. It's a sad situation that most teachers choose to stay in just to sign name or due to threats or whatever, or money or whatever, and the others that are out here are suffering so much. And they're not only fighting for themselves, they're fighting for all public servants. She said that the teachers are being supported. Further, she's encouraging them to continue their strike action until the situation is resolved. Member of Parliament Dawn Hastings Williams was again with the teachers today. She said that the children in their school uniform shouting that they want to be in their classroom sends a message. It sends a message not only to the, the parents who are out there, not only to the teachers who are out here, but it sends a message to the nation and as a world. This is to show how the impact of teachers being away from the classroom has I was listening to a program and a parent, you know, was saying, you know, teachers should be given what they deserve so that they can be back in the classroom because children at home. Today's protest caught the attention of the people attending the energy conference being held at the Marriott. The striking teachers assembled outside the Marriott. They chanted, something wrong with the 6.5. One parent debunked the contention that the strike is illegal. It is a lie that Jadio is pelting around, saying that um, something about the law that he do not or does not interpret properly. Mm. What I can say as a husband is that my wife is a teacher, and the salary that she is drawing, if I don't back her up as a husband, well then anything can do. I am wondering about husbands and wives who are having three to four children. What is happening? A teacher said that the government's mantra, because we care, isn't being displayed. When you say because we care, it should be you care about progressing the children educationally, not money alone. If you give these children $45,000 and the educators are not in the classroom to, to give them what they need, how they're moving on, how this because we care become effective, mm. um, effective rather. The students are feeling the pinch, and I know definitely that my students are feeling the pinch because uh, I, I teach geography and economics, mm. and those are very scary subjects. And at the Bishop's High School, I can say, I'm one of the only, one and the only geography teacher in the upper school. And the senior school, they are struggling there with my absence. The strike is continuing.